Next up, I want to review the two different animal spirit decks that I have. Now this one here is the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit, and I love this. The images are quite subtle with color, but they are beautiful and they speak out. It also comes with a lovely guidebook that I highly recommend that you have everybody read on their own because it will kind of click in with their own personal experiences and their own personal struggles. And reading the guidebook will help them understand what that animal might bring into their life. I read for a young gentleman and he got a mouse as his animal spirit and he kind of wanted something more cool. He wanted a lion or a bear, something more aggressive than just a mouse. But when he read from the guidebook, he kind of was just like, yeah, that does click in with my life. So understand that people can have animal spirits for a year, for a month, for just a certain project regarding a relationship. I find these cards to be good party icebreakers. Pull these out. They're definitely less intimidating than getting a Rider weight deck reading. People are very interested in with them and I've never had a reading where somebody was like, yeah, that doesn't click in with them. These cards do represent water, earth, wind, and fire and they also have cards that represent the spirit too as well.